What it do, y'all? What it do? Hey, thought I would come on. It's been a minute um, since I have gone live on Facebook. It's been a minute. Truly has. Um, but might as well, you know? I'm over here and I have a couple of things to do before um, before I leave. So, I thought it would be a good time to come on and say hey to y'all. What's up, Dale? Where you been, boy? I was, I was supposed to see you before the year came, man. Where you been? Where you been? You know how you know you're supposed to be doing something? <laughs> You should be doing some work, but you really don't want to. That's how I'm feeling right now. But I'm going to go ahead and do this thing. And you know what else I'm going to do? So there was this new technique that I was trying to do. And I fucked up on one of my batches. It didn't turn out right. So I'm going to try it again. Because I went and I had to get some help. And they told me what I did wrong. So, I'm going to try it again today with y'all. So, yeah. We making soap. Um, I have a wholesale order for a Honey Baby loaf. So, I'm going to make a loaf for her and I'm going to make a loaf for the kitty glue. Oh, two loaves for the kitty glue. Okay, you can do this. You can do this. Energy, energy, energy. Come on, y'all. Give me some energy. <laughs> I want to take a nap. Damn. I have to think about what I'm going to do. Then I got to put it in my mind what I'm going to do. Then I got to think about it again to make sure that shit makes sense. What I thought in my mind. Then I got to put everything in front of me to make sure everything lined up for what made sense in my mind. Then I get the shit done. <laughs> what? Y'all know it? But you know, like, I do get in a mood because I have been making soap every day this week and last week. So I'm just kind of over it. I'm just kind of over it. I feel like I need a little break. Every day, y'all, talk myself into it. Girl, make this shit. Just go on and make it. Every day. That's how I have to do it. Every day. Just make it. Damn. Just make it. Just make it. And I like to keep a, a, a tight ship on my wholesale order. So,
I always something to do. And unfortunately, around here, I'm the only one that can do it. Sometimes, I don't know, I've been thinking about making somebody sign the damn NDA and just gone and giving them the damn recipe so they can do this. That's what I've been thinking about. Sign the NDA, come over here and let me show you how to make this. Okay, because some days I just want to be lazy. And I don't want to do nothing. But today, I'm making soap. This right here is the activator, boo. It's the activator for the soap. If you ain't got this in your soap, it ain't no yummy soap. I'll tell you that. It ain't that. What? And FYI, just in case you did not know, restock for this site because we are out of stock on a lot of items. So the restock for the site is going to be this Saturday at noon. So this Saturday at noon, um, the site will be restocked with all of your names. Don't have to wait much longer. And the restock time is going to be noon. So at noon Central Standard Time, you want to get in there. You want to get in there, babe. You want to get in there and get your stuff. Because listen, I'm telling you, I have some babes that are quick. So yeah, we are making Yanni bars. I'm actually making the essential bars. Um, and I do use mica in my soaps. Micas are minerals, so they are safe non-toxic okay and my soaps are vegan based soaps so the ingredients are going to be safe for your body especially safe for kitty and um, our honey baby soap is one of our best sellers for good reason The honey baby is Sorry about that, but the honey baby soap is one of our best sellers, and I was saying for good reason. <laughs> For this soap are the same um, herbs that you will find in the disinfectant blend, which is great at a preventative for infections. Now see, that wasn't so bad and it wasn't so hard, but for some reason, see, I'm gonna tell you why, you know, my, hesitation come where it comes from when I'm making products and and I get like 
antsy is because I don't want to wash these damn dishes. I, could, I recommend your products to my daughter-in-law. She received your Yanni Boy and all. Yay! Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much for suggesting Sweet Kitty Club. I hope she likes it. Because I'm telling y'all. First and foremost, Heavenly Father, thank you for Stephanie and for her believing in me and sending more people to my product. Thank you for her, Lord. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Um, I was just on Instagram Live before I came here, and Stephanie, like, they already know, but, you know, Jesus is my homeboy. So I do thank him out loud for each of y'all. I appreciate the support that I receive. So this is Honey Baby. And this one was for a wholesale order. And since I had to make hers, I thought it would only be kosher if I came and I made some for the clubhouse too. So um, I'm gonna make two bars. I mean, two loaves. And these two loaves will uh, be ready in April. So these will not be the bars that y'all will see on the website for March. Um, and if you stick around till I'm done making these two loaves, I will show you what the bars look like for March. They're on the curing rack. She said, I called the number listed on your site. I did not expect for you to answer the phone. Yes, you have my support. So that was you, Stephanie, that called me that day. Okay, that was, you're that, Stephanie. Hey, girl. <laughs> yes, Stephanie. Right now and until God says, uh, says something different, it's always going to be me answering the phone. Okay, it's always going to be me. Because can't nobody sell your shit like you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody speaking for me, Stephanie. I, I'm not that girl to say, oh, that was one of my people that responded to you. I ain't got people yet. I am the people, okay? I am the people. So, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for um, sending your, your daughter-in-law and for um, and for also being supportive. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, I'm the people, girl. You're going to always talk to me. Whether you are in my inbox, emails, phone, right now it's me. I would like to have someone else do that for me in the near future. But yeah, because honey, I don't need no help. Doing, uh, you know what I'm saying? Some folks, see, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna love on my bays like I love on my bays. You know what I'm saying? I have a special relationship with my bays, and so I don't want nobody talking to them but me. Is that? Am I too controlling? Am I too controlling? Because I don't want nobody talking out. Because I don't. Because I don't. Why are you talking to my babies? <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's where I'll be. Why are you talking to them? Don't talk to them. Shoot. So I might be a little controlling. So I'm going to try this method. So this is what she told me. She told me that the reason why what I was trying to do didn't do what I was trying to do because I did it wrong. So basically, for those who don't know, the majority of our soaps here at Sweet Kitty Club are cold process soaps. So these are soaps that we have to allow to cure for up to four weeks before we package and ship. Um, and I was trying to learn like this new little method, right? Well, she told me my method didn't method because I did not allow 
the consistency of my batter to be what it needed to be. And I was telling them earlier that when you're making soap, making soap is almost like baking a cake. It's like, it's just like baking a cake, literally. It's just like baking a cake. You gotta put it in the you um, have to put the ingredients in, and we use the same type of utensils, materials as you would baking a cake. So the last time she said it did not work the right way because I did not let my soap sit the way that it needed to. So basically I have to, this is how high I want it like this. Um, basically the consistency of my soap needed to be a certain consistency. So I basically, I'm doing it where, let me see if I, so I want y'all to see it. So basically I'm trying to put, hey, short day. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for coming by and supporting. I appreciate it. So what I'm about to do is make some zigzags in my soap. I'm gonna show you one bar that I did yesterday and I effed it up, so I'm trying to do it different. Okay, so basically I wanna put these diagonals in my soap. I did it on this one, I did the black layer, but when it came to doing the middle layer, I kinda fumbled a little bit. So like I said, I figured out what I did wrong and I'm gonna try to do it again with this bar. So I wanna make a diagonal so we have to put the uh, loaf on an angle. So basically I have it propped under this soap to give it an angle. And yeah, this is, this is pretty thick. <laughs> make sure that the consistency is right so that it sits and this is the consistency that it needs to be kind of thick so that um, it'll set. Okay. So so it's going to sit. We got to give it a couple of minutes because, um, ooh, shit, see? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay? It's got to sit like this. And it takes a couple of minutes for the soap to sit, so I can't put anything on it and I can't move it until that is set. Then when, we, when that is set, then I put the other layer on. So again, we can't have it too runny. It's got to be at a consistency that's gonna be thick enough for it to do what it needs to do, so. Lots of energy in that song playing. I love this song. Okay, yeah, you can hear the music, girl, because listen, I was trying not to have it too loud because you know Facebook will shut you down and shit, but thank you. I gotta have music. I cannot work in silence. I just can't. So yeah, I'm gonna let that sit for a moment. And while that's sitting, also what I'm gonna do once um, in my middle layer is I'm gonna put this insert in, which this is a heart. So the heart insert will go in here but I'm not ready yet. So, this will be a three color thing. So the middle color is gonna be white. So I'm gonna 
we're gonna wait because I'm not supposed to. I'm see, I my patience is just horrible. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bomb. I hope so. Sade, I was showing before you came on the live. This is the attempt that I tried to do it like that yesterday and it didn't come out right. And the reason why is because I'm impatient. So just like now, I want so bad to start with the second layer. Oh, it's set, y'all. It's set. It's set. It's set. Look, <laughs> okay. So basically how we know it's set is because the soap ain't moving. It's barely moving. It's barely moving. So that's good. We need it to sit slanted like this. So I'm going to give it one minute. Just because we want to make sure that when we do, uh, because at the end we have to lay it flat. So we want to make sure that all of the angles are set before we lay it flat. And that's why we had to beat the soap for so long so that it will thicken up. And the thicker the soap, the more, the, the quicker it will set in its place like this. So I'm just going to give it a minute. And uh, then I can put the second layer on there. And it's going to be all good. So yay. See, it didn't do that. Yesterday, when I did that black layer, I did not let it sit long enough. And when I moved it, it was like, girl, what the hell are you doing? So see? See how now I can do it flat and it still got that angle? It's still angled. So yeah, we wanna, I'm just gonna keep it like that for one more minute, because again, I don't want it to move. that in there some kind of way but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and start on the next layer so again we got to get this one thick as well um, so that when we put it on top of it so what we could do So basically, I'm going to switch. I'm going to keep it like this until I'm ready for it. We didn't whip this, so it's still in a good consistency. The layers are pretty in your soaps, but honey, all I think about is how well it works. It can be just one solid block. I don't care. <laughs> Stephanie, you funny. Listen, Stephanie, seriously, sometimes that's how I be feeling. Like, because these colors, as you can see, like me doing this, now the, the loaf I just did a second ago, that went by real quick because I didn't do anything, you know, I wasn't trying to do nothing fancy. When you're doing fancy stuff like this, you see how long I got to sit here, wait for this to set up before I can go with the next layer. And yes, sometimes I don't feel like that. I don't feel like it. But there are times when I do, y'all know when I'm lazy, when I do just solid color bars and there are no designs or nothing. That's when you know I got lazy. I got tired. I'm over it. Okay. Second layer, because I know this is set really good now. I can go ahead and start on um, the second layer. I'm 
fucking done. Ooh! Mm, mm, mm. See, y'all, you see what happens when you try to be... Ooh, man, you talking about somebody mad and I'm trying to hold it together because I don't want y'all to hear me go the fuck off, but I'm mad. Damn, I'm mad. <laughs> So basically, I just wasted. Whoa, and that, I almost, I almost fell. Damn, I just wasted a lot, a lie jar and busted it, which is not good. I'm ready to go home. I just want to go home at this point. I just want to go home. I don't want to do shit else. Ugh. See, over here trying to be damn Martha Stewart and shit, trying to show y'all some shit, and then this happened. And then almost too damn thick for me. This is the wrong fucking angle. Lord Jesus. See? See? Y'all see how... <laughs> oh, no! I put it back on the same angle, but that's okay, because I, I fixed it. I fixed it. Damn it! I don't know how this shit gonna come out now. I don't even know, y'all. Don't even ask. <laughs> I don't even know, okay? Okay. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, short day. <laughs> Relax, baby. It's cool. Keep working. We still here. Okay, I know, girl. Ugh. I know. But that was a jar, so I was going to make another loaf. So now I'm not going to be able to make that last loaf because I just busted the jar. So, oh well. Just help me finish my night a little bit sooner. Um, so while we have this sitting up, like I said, y'all just stick to the end because I do want to show y'all the bars that um, will be ready for restock. So, okay, we're just going to let this sit up for a little bit. This last layer, I don't have to let that be as thick as these other layers because um, they won't, it won't be at an angle. So I'm just going to allow these to sit, this to sit for two minutes and then I'll cover it. But basically... And then I put the uh, heart in there. So the heart is in there. Hey, Nakia. And why your products are worth every penny? That's some work. Thank you, girl. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Ooh, Stephanie, girl. You know, have I not said this? If y'all on my email list, you, have, you know that I say this a lot. You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. Shout out to my boy Andre 3000, okay? Because y'all see what just happened. That's some bullshit. Ain't nothing but the devil, okay? Ain't nothing but the devil, but that's okay. That's okay. Because what, what did I do? I just got my wholesale order out the way, and at least I got one more loaf that I can add to our shelf for my sweet babies. So that makes me happy. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Cause I'm over it. I'm over it, I wanna be done. So we can get to the good stuff and I can tell y'all what I came here to tell y'all. So this last layer, I'm gonna do this, it's called lemon. I like this color, which is like a lime color, but it doesn't, it's like depend on what you put that color in, depends on how good it shows up and stuff. Um, but I really hate that. Oh, y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. Uh oh, uh oh. And then I'm gonna say, did I break my damn blender? Cause oh, oh shit, y'all broke my blender. Yep, it's broke. It's broke. 
broke it. Ain't gonna be. Yep, it's broke, y'all. See? Ooh! Now I'm really mad. So anyway, this time now we can go ahead and let it relax down. And we're just gonna pour it. gets left behind over here, okay? And then I can come back tomorrow um, and I will cut this open so y'all can see what it looks like on the inside. This is our soap. That's it. Now this soap over here, I believe should be, yeah. This is good enough, so I like to texture my soaps. So I'm just gonna take a spoon. Thank you. I don't know if the light is in the way, but this is basically the soap. So the soap is now hard, um, but it still has to sit in this mold for a day before I can take it out. But it's good, it's not gonna run, it's not gonna do anything. So this is how it needs to be. And then I mess, look, I like to come in. I like to texture. So because I like to texture, That soap, it's got to harden a little bit before I can texture because it's still runny, as you can see, it's still moving. So while these soaps are doing that, I can put this one to the back. I can put this up because I'm not going to use it. I wanted to show you guys um, our restock for March. So if you've been to the website, you already know we are out of stock on pretty much everything. I think the only thing that I do have available in stock right now is going to be our honey and oatmeal bars, our vitamin bars, and the zaddy bars. So that's what we have now in stock. Um, but all of our yummy soaps, those are out until this Saturday at noon. So let me just rinse off my utensils real quick. Clean up my area so I can show y'all the soap. And I'll even show you a sneak peek at something that I just made. I have uh, dropped that stick blender. That stick blender must have had nine lines. Because I know it's been dropped about eight times. So I guess this last time it said, nah, boo, you done. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in. Woo! What a day. 
that just really effed me up. And it put me behind because I really wanted to make that last bar. I, re I really did. See, I have told myself about getting them cords, getting in my damn way, because I'm always damn dropping my stick blender. Like I said, I've been dropping 50, 11 times, so I guess this time it's said, nah, baby, you're going to have to go on and replace it. You're going to have to go on and replace it. You are about to lose your job, Skip Glenda. You are about to lose your job. Then I got this damn lot that I wasted on the floor. And I'm telling you that, y'all, if you... Lie is real dangerous. It will burn the, the crap out of you. Ugh, and I don't want to be dealing with it. I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal, but <clears throat> y'all stick with your girl. You do need to see me. Nakia, why you ain't came to see me? I am still downtown. So you should come and see me. I'm inside of Southside on Lamar. And I'm here every day. Though we're not open for shopping every day, we are open every day. So if you wanted to get an appointment or you wanted to come in, see what we got going on, you're more than welcome to do that. that baby how old how are your girls are they like about to graduate and everything now I'm so sorry to hear that okay all right y'all so um for those that don't know like I said we we're out of stock on a lot of our items online um, and that is really because I had COVID in January. And you guys, I was down for two weeks. And I'm going to tell y'all, that two weeks when you, you know, I am the only maker, the only product maker here at Sweet Kitty Club. So when you're the only product maker, oh, that's what's up. So you a granny, you know, I'm a sugar mama. Um, so I had COVID and being shut down for two weeks, having COVID, nothing got done, you know? And so it really pushed me behind. And because of that, we were out of stock on like the magical unicorn before Valentine's Day. So it was bad. So I'm like still playing catch up from all of that. Still playing catch up. But okay, so we got our table sanitized. My hands are clean. I want to show you guys the um, bars for, for March. And a little sneak peek of some other things. Okay, I gotta put my gloves on. Cannot believe I still can't get over me dropping that damn jar. This is when I wished I would have brought my kids with me because Ivy would have had to clean that up. Now, because I'm here by myself, I got to clean up my own messes. When I show y'all this sink, I hate washing dishes. These gloves are too fucking tight. I did not know it. But guess who does not throw nothing away? I'm using them. They too little, but we gonna use them until they all gone because we don't waste nothing. <laughs> okay, we do not. I can barely get my damn fat ass fingers in these damn gloves. B turn them as I put them on. But guess what? They gonna do what they need to do. 
My nails about to pe pierce through. But I want to show. Ooh, wow! Why did I forget that was right there, y'all? Damn! Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? you guys what <laughs> no I didn't fall but I almost slipped let me show y'all real quick and we're gonna come back to it so I'm walking and I like literally almost slid in that and that was dangerous but y'all see who gonna come wash these dishes that's what I want to know who is gonna come wash these dishes huh cuz it ain't gonna be me I don't wash dishes I make products Okay, I don't I don't do that. And somebody needs to get the memo that I don't why I'm not supposed to be washing no dishes. I'm just supposed to be making products. I don't know who got it twisted somewhere. But anyway, I'm hot. Okay, let me show y'all what I got. So first things first, today I just cut a new batch of the passion bars. Now we already have the passion that are going to be coming out for March. Typically when you see the thug passion bars, which are our equivalent to our yummy bars. So thug passion bars are for men. It does have the same active ingredients that I put in the yummy bars. Um, however, they have a masculine scent to them. And even though they do have a masculine scent, um, we have women who use the soaps as well as you know men so i kind of really consider all of the soaps to be unisex soaps because any sex can use them they're great for teens the whole family can use the bars these are not bars that are going to affect um any of us now the base of our soaps are going to be coconut oil and olive oil and apple cider vinegar so that's going to be the base for all of our yummy bars as well as our zaddy bars um starting this month well effective immediately we only have a very small amount of the classic man zaddy bar so we did do two different scents for men we had the classic man which was my favorite nobody else's and then we had the thug passion which is hands down favorite favorite for the men so because of that i am discontinuing the classic man bar so once we sell out of the classic mans there will be no more classic mans okay y'all didn't like it so okay but y'all love the thug passion so we keep those going typically uh what we do with our yummy soaps or our body soaps period is we color coordinate them so that even if you got a bar and you looked at the color you would know what bar that was so so historically our zaddy bars i will show you would be the green and black this time for april so for march you'll still see green and black and you'll also see some that are green white and black um, but for April, these are our new Zaddy bars. I did black and white. So these are the two designs. Same scent. Black and white. And I did put herbs on these bars. The herbs that are on the Zaddy bars are peppermint. So it has a peppermint smell. It has a minty smell. And then it's also peppermint herbs on the soap as well. And the soap smells so good so these are the new zaddy bars these bars you will see in april so when you order your zaddy bars april may you're gonna see black and white bars okay just wanted to switch it up do something different but again like i said 
Um, even though the colors are different, the ingredients are the same. And then next, I want to give you a sneak peek at our Black Magic Detox Bars. Um, so the Black Magic Detox Bars are great if you have acne-prone skin, okay? These are great for teens. Great, great, great. That's, this is what I use every day as a facial wash. Today, I don't have on any makeup, but this is what I use every day to clean my face, okay? And it gives me a bright glow. Um, I have noticed that uh, blemishes that were very noticeable on my face are no longer as no noticeable. The active ingredients in our Black Magic Detox Bar is going to be uh, bentonite clay, is going to be activated charcoal as well as turmeric. So I'll show you my least favorite to my most favorite, okay? So least favorite, this one, I already showed you guys this one. I tried to do some, some diagonal lines that didn't diagonal, but it still is good. So this one, this one, this is like a drop squirrel kind of thing, okay? And then my two favorite out of the Black Detox collection is going to be, first, this one. I like how the star like pops in this. And then my most favorite is this one. Got a heart in it, okay. And when you see these type of inserts in the soap, um, these are infused with whatever herbs that we, herbs and oils that we put in the actual soaps, okay? And then, um, I did not do it for this, these bars, but sometimes uh, for the Black Magic bars, I know you'll see this for the March, um, for the March orders, the Black Magic bars have chamomile, they're topped with chamomile. So sometimes I put herbs on the tops of them, sometimes I don't. But again, these are Black Magic. These are unisex bars. These are safe for your face and your body. And I will even use it after a wax. Just, you know, on the surface of kitty or underarms. Great. 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 <laughs> okay. So Black Magic, Zaddy Bars. And then here are our March soaps. Okay. So like I said, right now we're out of stock on all of these soaps. However, um, these will be what you will find on uh, for restock in the in the orders. So first, Honey Honey Baby. So the Honey Baby, you guys, is a great partner to our disinfectant blend. So if you uh, experience reoccurring infections or bad odors this soap okay so this is one of the bars this is another and then my favorite okay and the honey baby is one of our best sellers um, it is scented with lemon and eucalyptus so they love how it smells as well as how it makes them feel okay Next up, we have our Essential Kitty, okay? And the Essential Kitty partners with our Soothe, uh, Soothe Blend V-Steam Mix. So if you are experiencing painful periods, um, just overall painful periods, uh, cramping, um, you know, stagnation in your, your blood flow, then you need to get the Soothe Blend, V-Steam Blend, and then here is the Essential Kitty Soap. So here's one. Here's the second one. I love this one. I like the pinks in this one. Sometimes I don't be knowing what the hell I do to do what it do, but I just be like, I'm glad it had turned out. <laughs> okay? Because for me, uh, just like Stephanie said at the beginning, at the er earlier, you know, it's really not about the design. They're not supposed to be pretty because I want you to use them. But, I mean, I like to do different stuff. So, I don't really care how the design turn out. long as the ingredients is what it is, that's it. 
like, okay? So and this is the last one. Um, and then this bar and these two bars here, as you can tell, these are herbs that you see in the bar. So those are herbs, and the herbs that we, again, that we put in the soap are going to be the same herbs that are in the V-Steam blends. So that's the essential bar. And then last but not least, y'all, these soaps were sold out before Valentine's, okay? Sold out before Valentine's even got here. I know I had some bays mad at me, but that's okay, because I'm, 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 listen, I had COVID. Had COVID. Now, that's a, an excuse for your ass, okay? But I'm on it. But I'm on it, okay? These, these you guys, are the magical unicorn. Y'all already know magical unicorn soaps are like a party in your panties, okay? If you have a low sex drive, you need to get in the mood. You need a little something to get you there. Magical unicorn. Disclaimer: I can help you turn it on, but I can't help you turn it off, ladies. Okay? So, Magical Unicorn. And these are herbs that you see in the soap. Okay. So, Magical Unicorn. Um, so, again, these soaps will be on the site on this Saturday at noon, okay? A party in your panties, yes? <laughs> okay? Um, so these soaps will be on the site at noon on this Saturday. Um, I will also want to share a couple of things with you about the restock. You will notice that there is an option for you to purchase a one-time purchase item, one-time purchase, or for you to do a subscription for that product. I highly recommend you do a subscription and here's why. Not only do you save 10% off of that item for your subscription, when we are out of stock, you're never out of stock. Okay, you're gonna get yours like clockwork. We're gonna, we always make sure that we have enough to cover our subscribers. So they're never gonna miss out. Never. There were, uh, for the Magical Unicorn, sold out on the site, but not a subscriber did not get left behind. Okay, no subscriber was left behind. They got it. Not only do you save 10% with your subscription on every order, okay? So you don't need no codes, you don't need nothing. It just comes like clockwork. Not only do you save 10% and you can, you can cancel it at any time, so you can choose to have your products delivered monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly, okay? You can cancel it anytime. Not only do you get 10% off of your order each time, we also send free items to our subscribers. So when I make new products, the first people that try those products are always the subscribers. They get a sample for free. So for example, this month, um, we have some samples. So these are our samples that are going to be going out to our subscribers. I've got to get these packaged up. But what are those, Montana? Are those jello shots? No, they're not. These, you guys, are our vitamin bar samples. So vitamin bars are a new item that is on our site. These are made with sea moss, uh, with sea moss and sea moss gel, okay? These bars, I love them. I love them, okay? I love them. I, I, I got a whole little routine I do in the shower, okay? I love it. Smells great. These are the samples, and each of our product subscribers will receive a sample uh, with their subscription order. So not only do you save 10%, not only do you get free shit, okay? Four times a year, you get free shipping. So this month, new and existing subscribers will get free shipping. What? Four times a year free shipping, 10% off of your products, and free samples. I mean, really? And you don't want to subscribe? Tell me why. And if you have come and purchased more than three times, 
Make it make sense why you're not subscribing. Just make it make sense. You've been here three, four, five, six, seven. I even have some customers who have shopped more than 10 times, but they just like to come back and go through that whole checkout process. Why? When you can subscribe and be done. Make it make sense, babe. For real. So yeah, that's what we're doing for March. Vitamin bars are going to our, vitamin bar samples are going to our product subscribers. They are getting free shipping this month. And they saving, so what? Okay, that's how we do at Sweet Kitty Club, okay? That's how we do. So I wanted to tell you that. And the last thing that I want to tell you, I'm going to offer y'all the same thing that I offered on Instagram which is so if you did not know this we have over 300 reviews on our website <laughs> shout out to y'all for that shit because i appreciate y'all listen i do not beg i do not y'all do it all on y'all own and i really appreciate it and i also want to tell you even with those 300 plus uh reviews not all of the reviews are great out of the 300 we've got two bad reviews I left them on there. It didn't affect our 4.9 rating. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we 4.9, boo. What? Them little two people that didn't, and, and their complaint wasn't even a complaint, but okay. So, I appreciate that love. But here's what I need. What I'm realizing, though we have 300 plus reviews on the site, when we go to Google, we only have five, and I don't like that. See, that's upset me and my friends, okay? That we only got five reviews on Google. We don't like that. So if you plan on shopping with Sweet Kitty Club anytime soon, what I need you to do is give me a Google review. And I'll give you a $5 gift card that you can use towards your purchase. Does that sound fair? Okay, I need Google reviews, baby. Google reviews. So, can y'all do that for me? What I'm going to do, right on this live, I'm finna do it right here, hold on. It's not gonna let me do it on here. Cause what I wanna do is put it right in the live. In the comments, let's see if I can. Yeah. In the comments, let's see if I can. I can. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. So basically, I'm going to put it in the comments here. Y'all can just click the link, go, and be great. Let the people know about me because, honey. I need all, yep, here it is. So I just posted it in the comments here on, on this live. It says, check out Sweet Kitty Club on Google. If you are a, a uh, Sweet Kitty Bay, you've ever come in contact with Sweet Kitty products or you know uh, my services here, please leave me a review. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated, okay? And that's it. So thank y'all for watching my live. Thank y'all for joining my TED Talk, okay? <laughs> thank y'all for joining my TED Talk. I've been talking. I did not even. Oh, my God. Let's see. I was supposed to texture this soap. And if you let it get too hard, it won't. You can't texture it. But it's not that hard that I can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and, does anybody have any questions before I get off of here? Because I would love to answer any question that anybody has before I get off, because y'all know I gotta clean up my mess. So if you have any question, please feel free to ask now. If you wanna know anything about my products, what's in my products, Anything. 
feel free to ask. Okay? But otherwise, I guess that's my time. Y'all see my nails? Here's something. Why come my nail tick? She was so rude, y'all. Let me tell you what she told me. First of all, these are my natural nails. Okay, I only have tips on this one and this one because I just broke this nail last week. I broke the tip off. But aside from that, those and this one. These are my nails, right? I don't have, other than this one and this one, and then the one over here, I have tips on, they're just a real, like, at the very, uh, set, the very tip tip, okay? Why is she gonna tell me? She gonna say, first of all, now, keep in mind, y'all, I get compliments on my nails. Girls be stopping me in mid-sentence. Your nails curve like that? Yes, the, these are my nails. They, they curve naturally. There is no, I don't do a, a curved nail or nothing like that. And she gonna tell me, my nail tech told me that my nails were ghetto. Are they ghetto? Do y'all think they ghetto? Because they curve. She said, don't know, That's, that went out in the 90s. And she only said that because she know I'm in my 40s. That went out in the 90s. Bitch, you better, you girl, I was like, girl, you about to lose your job, okay? But I don't know, is that ghetto to y'all? I mean, she was like, you should just cut them and then get, this helper suggested that I cut my real nails to the nub to let her put on a fake tip so they'll be straight. I bet I won't. I'd be damned if I cut my nails so you can put a fake nail. Girl, I just you were about to lose your job. <laughs> like, girl, you don't want me to see you no more. Just say that. No, those are cute. She mad. She can't. That's what I said, girl. You just mad, girl. You just mad because you can't do the curve nail. What? <laughs> I said the same thing, short day. Yeah, so these are my curved nails. And she was, I, just, I mean, she just talked about it the whole time. She was doing my nails. She was like really trying to file the hump down. Like, girl, that hump ain't going nowhere. You're burning my finger. Leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay, okay. Let me get off of here so I can clean up this mess. That's why I'm just, I'm just trying to prolong the inevitable. Because I was hoping one of y'all would have said, oh, girl, I come and clean it up. <laughs> But y'all ain't, I know. You'll wear yours, okay. And Sade, I'm gonna let them grow because just a tent. I wanna just see, they starting to get in the way. I ain't gonna lie, they are starting to get in the way. I'm starting to ask for help on shit. Like, can you do that, my nigga? Like, that's my, that is my excuse, y'all. I don't do shit around the house. And I'll be like, I can't, will you go get that? My nails. Everything is my nails. I can't, my nails. Cause they know, that, and that's how my kids threaten me. Mama, you better stop before you break a nail. And they know I'll stop. Baby, you wanna see me shut, shut it, I'm done. Okay, cause if I think I'ma break a nail, I'm done. It took me forever to grow my nails to this length. Okay, that's why I was so hurt that I had to get a tip on this one because I was mad, like it took me a lot to get here. And you gonna tell me that this is ghetto and I need to cut them? Bitch, you better, you, you are about to lose your job, okay? But anyway, let me clean up this mess and you know, yes. You do nails? I did not know that. Where you do nails, girl? You have to send me your information. Quick story time. And then I'm for real finna get off. I had, oh, I probably shouldn't do this. But where you do nails, Shorday? I Let me tell you. I'll say that for another video. I ain't gonna even say what I was gonna say. Where you do nails, share the information with me. Oh, you pulls up, you do, like you, you, you do nails, you come to them? Girl, don't tell me you make house calls now. <laughs> 
Yeah. Don't tell me you make house calls. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you do toes too? Because you know y'all people who do nails don't want to do no damn toes. I don't understand that. I don't do feet. I just do nails. But do you do toes? I'm going to have to have you pull up on me. Because, yeah, Tracy made me mad talking about cutting my nails. She was, like, she was just saying it so confident. She thought she was so funny. I do wax. I do feet. I do eyebrows. Girl, why you? Girl, you need to be over here in the kitty club if you ain't got a home. Why you ain't over here with me then? Shoot. You need to be over here at the Sweet Kitty Club, short day. For real. Inbox me. Okay, let me get off of here so I can clean up this stuff. We're going to do a story time one day. I know it's been a minute since I've done a live, but I do appreciate y'all watching and engaging with me during this time. I'm going to try to do this more often. So I really would like, if you guys are not already following me on Instagram, Please follow the Sweet Kitty Club on Instagram because that's where we get, that's where we live at, okay? I don't come on Facebook because, I mean, y'all don't be, but you know, y'all in it today, so thank you. I guess because I'm on my page, but on Sweet Kitty's page, just be like cricket, so I hardly come on uh, Facebook. So the party be on Instagram. Y'all gotta follow me on Instagram because what I have decided to do is to go live on Instagram on Wednesday. So I'm gonna go live on Wednesdays and that's when we cut up. You said Facebook block. Facebook, I don't know what to say about Facebook. According to Shopify, Facebook loves me because a lot of my sales come through Facebook. But on my personal page, y'all know how y'all be on Facebook personally. Y'all know. I ain't even, I ain't even got to tell y'all how y'all be on, on Facebook personal, okay? It just, don't, it just don't give what it needs to give, okay? It just don't give what it needs to give. And when I'm on, on Instagram, the bays, they, their energy just be. And I love it. Okay? So, but anyway, Instagram on Wednesdays, I promise you they block lives. They block posts. They block, 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 block. They motherfuckers be hate. <laughs> Facebook, you about to lose your job. Okay? I, I believe you, Shorty. I think that some some of that, because I know they, they like, oh, you know, they, you know, blocking stuff. But then I also believe... Part of that is our followers, baby. Point blank period, there I said it. Because you will have people that, you know, I don't know why in their mind they think that if they don't support you, they don't watch your live or like your post, or they, in their mind, think that ain't nobody going to fuck with you. And dummy, do you know how many people are in this motherfucking world? Billions. You are one motherfucker. Do you know how many people fuck with me? Like, but but there are people who will get on these social medias, honey, and they will go out of their way to, to really, you know, act like they ignoring your motherfucking ass, but the whole time they seeing every damn thing you doing. It just it make it make sense. So I know Facebook be tripping, but I also know it's the people in your friends list. It's the people in your friends list because they see what you out here doing. It won't take shit. I done seen people share bullshit, okay? Share and like bullshit, bullshit because y'all know how social media work. You get to see what your friends, your, your mutual friends are liking and commenting. You get to see what they like and comment on. And sometimes it baffles me that some of y'all will like and comment and share on bullshit all day long. Y'all sharing, comment, laughing at bullshit. But you will have a friend that, that you know, you know, damn, you can't support your friend, share her motherfucking business, like her motherfucking page. Give her, go, you go girl, give her a goddamn emoji. You won't do that for her ass, but the bullshit... You'll do it for. And that kind of shit is what pisses me the fuck off. 
Y'all will do that old motherfucking coon ass shit that you see people doing on damn social media. See, now I'm finna get off of here because I feel myself about to go there, okay? But I'ma tell y'all, y'all see people do coon ass shit and you like that shit and, and, and go for it all day. All day. I see niggas dancing in wigs, doing the most, doing the most. Y'all like that shit. Y'all like that. Y'all think that motherfucker, that's creative. Oh, that's, that's, that's something. But somebody who's really out here doing something. I just told y'all I got over 300 motherfucking reviews on, on my, on my page. 300 reviews and ain't none of them. A handful. Hey, Talitha, she one of my bays. Uh, only a handful of y'all, but I'm not hurt by it. It does not make me mad. Let me let me change my tone because I don't want y'all to get it construed and think that I give a fuck because I don't. But it does make me wonder, like, who did I decide to connect with on this motherfucking account? Because I'm connecting with the wrong people. So I really think that if, if I had the time to go through the 3,000 friends that I have on Facebook, I would. I have even thought about deleting this account, starting over. But who got time for all that shit? So I just have to work with the tools. I just have to work with the cards I was dealt. And I'm working that shit. It don't stop nothing. That's why, and before I leave, if you, if you, uh, for those who saw, you know, and I wasn't posting how much I made with my business to brag. Okay, because as far as I'm concerned, I ain't make shit. My bank account is saying, bitch, where is it? Shit, where is the money? Okay, so it don't matter what the gross say. Okay, it's that net. Okay, and but I shared it because I wanted you guys to, I wanted somebody, some, it was for someone to see that it does not matter. I don't get no likes. You can go down my page and look at everything that I posted. I'll get three or four likes and if it's something ignorant, then I get a lot of likes. But, you know, just in general, I don't get a lot of likes on my, on my account. But that doesn't stop shit. It doesn't stop a sale from happening. My, my store has been sold out. And here is, here is a moment. Here is something that I can say with pride, okay? My store has been sold out on our top selling most requested items for the last two weeks. But I still make sales every day. Every day. Even with things out of stock, I still get orders. Even with out of stock items. So I'll just say that if for you, I know Shorday, I was a motherfucking motivated saying that I was down for a minute with my. Thank you. Um so yeah, for like for you, Sade, you make products. You you out here. You are, are a service pro provider as well. Don't stop just because you don't get the engagement you want to get, or that you're not getting the attention from the people that should be paying you fucking attention. Don't worry about that. Because what we doing is we ain't worrying about who won't, we worrying about who will. And like I said, baby, that is one person compared to how many billions of people in this world. I told God, if all I needed, all I needed, we know how many billions of people in this world, send me 1,500. If I had 15 solid customers, I can show y'all that I have at least 10 customers that have spent over $2,000 with me in a year. Over 10. So just imagine if I had a thousand people like them, what would it matter to me? So that's how I look at things. I don't care. I, don't, I look at the, the big picture is it only takes a little to get a lot. It only takes a little to get a lot. And if you got the right consistent a loyal people that rock with you, that support what you're doing, bitch, that's all you need. That is all you need. These, these 3,000 friends on Facebook that don't fuck with me, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Do you hear me? Like, I'm so for real. I don't care because I got some solid people that do, and I focus on them. 
So, Talitha, how do we see each other's stuff? I feel like a lot of us that are friends, that are supportive, sometimes we don't see each other. Oh, I done moved it. Damn it. Talitha, hold on. I don't see, like, I don't even see some of Bobby's posts. That's crazy. I fucks with you. I know you do, Talitha. <laughs> you fucks with me and I fucks with you. You know what, what I think that we have to be um, conscious about is liking and engaging. We have to engage with, with shit. And I know it's kind of hard because everything you don't want to engage with on social media. But if you notice when you do engage, so like you watching my live and you come in on my live, Talitha, I'm pretty sure... For the next couple of days, when I when I do post something, you will see it because you've engaged this far. And so that's that's another thing that I'm going. Let me tell y'all something I do. This is something I do on my Instagram Instagram, and I'm gonna share this tip with y'all. And it's also something that I have started to do on my Facebook. Right, Shorday, it's the algorithm. So let me tell you how I what I do here on Facebook, for example. Since I don't get a lot of likes or engagement on posts, what I do is the people, when I see, so I don't even post in my stories, just random here on Facebook. I do that for a reason because I like to see, well, who is looking? Because what I do is the people who look at my stories or the people who do like my posts or comment or whatever, I make a point to go to their page and engage on their page because I feel like this. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. So if you are engaging with my post or my, my page, I want to engage with your page as well. Let's, let's you know, make it a win-win. She said, your soap is so what that is. I was having withdrawals when I didn't have it and ran out. Bobby was like, sweet kitty, he loves it. Okay, I will start doing it. Thank you. Thank you, Talitha, for saying that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I still, I had reached out to Bobby because I want me a new bracelet. Bobby done moved up, baby. He said he got the boxes and, and he doing it. He doing some different creative stuff and I love it. So, yes, kudos to y'all. Just, just being a supportive uh, couple because I know both you and Bobby, uh, when you guys were here in Dallas and even you being in, in Las Vegas, I've seen that y'all are still doing the same stuff y'all were doing here, which is giving people a motherfucking shot. Okay? And that's what I don't be honest. Like the people who be giving the people the shots, that's who y'all need to be fucking with. Y'all, But you know what? People are backwards. They are backwards. They are backwards. Okay? I fuck with the people who fuck with the people. Okay, that's what, that's me. Just like I bully the bullies. Okay, I, I bully the bullies. Don't don't come don't don't come over here with that bullshit. I will let go. But anyway, I just keep going and going and going. <laughs> okay, let me get off of here. But Shardae, I just had to say that though because it needed to be said. I would like to have you know say it often, but sometimes you know people just. Like I said, if I said it outside of, you know, this arena, then it would look like I give a damn, and I don't. I, let's keep it just like it is. You don't engage, you don't fuck with my shit, cool. I don't give a fuck. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> okay? Because I got some babies who do. Okay? Okay. So, anyway... <laughs> Let me get out for here for real because I got to get pick, get this stuff up and go pick up my baby. But thank y'all for rocking. It is time for the truth. Make sure you are following on Instagram though because next Wednesday we're going to go live. And I might have a topic for you. I might have a topic topic. Because we do. We need to get... It's time my Instagram babes know who they really dealing with. And I'm ready to let her out. So... Follow me on Instagram if you're not already doing that. It's The Sweet Kitty Club. Y'all, I am out uh, March 5th, this Saturday at noon. It's going to be restocked, so make sure you get it, okay? Bye. Y'all be safe.